want to give God praise on this afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, refuge. Give God a hand clap of praise all over this house. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. Hallelujah. And can feel it in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. 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 The song says glory to his name. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Listen. Oh, down at the cross when my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Oh, glory to his name. I'm singing glory to his name. Precious name. I'm singing glory to his name. Oh, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Come on, let's sing it together. I'm singing glory to his name. Precious name. so sweetly abides within there at the cross where he took me and I'm singing glory to his name oh glory glory to his name precious name I'm singing glory to his name there to my heart was the blood so rich and sweet oh cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet oh plunge in today and be made complete I'm singing glory to his name I'm singing glory to his name precious name glory to his name there to my heart was the blood applied glory to his name oh i'm singing glory to his name precious name i'm singing glory to to his name oh there to my heart was the blood Was the blood of death to my heart? There to my heart was the blood of death 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 to my heart was the bl
give God praise all over this house. We cry out glory to his name on this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All over the sanctuary, can we just stand to our feet as we give thanks, hallelujah, for what God has done for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. just get on one accord on this morning can we just get on one accord on this morning I don't care what you've been going through all this week I know that the devil is fighting but we will not give the devil victory on this morning I need you to grab a neighbor's hand that will let you grab him and we're gonna grab we're gonna get on one accord on this morning we're gonna get on one accord on this morning and give God praise we're going to give him glory. We're going to give him honor that's due to him. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, hallelujah, we thank you, God, for today. Lord, we thank you, God, first of all, for giving us life, health, and strength. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, God, for giving us the activities of our limbs. Hallelujah. We thank you for the life that you're breathing through us on this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the infilling of the Holy Ghost that abides within us, God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God, for having the blood applied to our lives on this morning. So right now, God, hallelujah, God, we move all flesh and hindrance out of the way on this morning, God. You have your way on in this place right now, God. Hallelujah. Somebody is standing in need of a miracle right now, God. Somebody is standing in need of a blessing right now, God. So, God, we give you praise in advance right now, God, for what you're getting ready to do, God. Hallelujah, God. We you ask you, God, to come into this place. As a matter of fact, you're already here. All we got to do is grow and engross into your presence on this morning. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. All we got to do is invoking your presence right now, God. So, with uplifted hands and we lift our mouths, we open up our mouths and shout hallelujah in this place. Hallelujah, God. We shout glory in this place. Hallelujah, God. God, hallelujah God you have your way in this place right now God move any hindrance right now God out of the way right now God hallelujah anything that's not like you God we ask you to burn it out in Jesus name hallelujah God burn it out right now God cast it out of here right now God Satan has no victory in this place hallelujah God because God gets all glory he gets all honor hallelujah God hallelujah we thank you God for blessing us on this morning God we even thank you for blessing us throughout this week right now in the name of Jesus God hallelujah God I know it may have been a struggle for some God but God yo, you, you saw us through it right now in the name of Jesus God so right now God hallelujah God we're gonna praise you God we're gonna magnify you we're gonna open up our mouths we're gonna clap our hands we're gonna stump our feet even if we don't feel like it right now God because God you blessed us God God you saved us God hallelujah God you made us God so have your way God in this place right now God move right now like you never moved before God hallelujah save souls right now on this morning God hallelujah God you do this God we'll forever give you the praise hallelujah we'll forever give you the honor hallelujah we'll forever give you the glory hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah God hallelujah so we clap our hands hallelujah we clapping our hands we're opening our mouths we're giving God thanks we're giving God praise. Come on, refuge. Open up your mouth on this morning. Come on, refuge. Open up your mouth. Tap in on this morning. Tap in the glory on this morning. Come on, tap in on the glory on this morning. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. And we seal this prayer with a praise by saying amen and amen. Hallelujah. Remain standing on this morning. Hallelujah. As we're going to read it, the 150th Psalms on this morning, we're going to read it, hallelujah. 
and a call and response. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the first verse. Congregation, you're going to read the second, and we're going to accumulate to the end. Hallelujah. At, at the end of the verse, hallelujah, together. Hallelujah. The words, the uh, scripture should be on the screens in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I'll begin saying, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with psaltery and harp. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals altogether. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Now if you got breath in your body, I need you to clap those hands and praise him. Oh come on, that's not enough. God's been better than that. Come on and praise him. I need you to get excited about what God is getting ready to do on your behalf on this week. Praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to move and continue on in praise. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is high above the heavens. Hallelujah. And his glory is above all nations. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Oh, the Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory is above all nations. And his glory above all nations. I said the Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory is above all nations. And his glory above all nations. Come on and give God the highest praise. Acknowledge him away. And all the people say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Okay. 
and give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on and give him honor. Hey. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If God been good to you, shout yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Say hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our King. On this first Sunday morning, death cannot hold him down. Because he is the risen King.
Jesus King. We're talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The song says, all praises be to the King of kings, Lord of lords, because he is wonderful. Hallelujah to the name of God. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. It's a good place to worship right there. And I love services like this because when the crowd is away, we can see who really has it in their heart because some people can't praise God unless there's a big crowd around and all the big names are around and a whole bunch of popular people some folks come just to be seen and to see who's there but there's some of us hallelujah it don't matter who's here and who's not I came hallelujah what did I do I came I don't know about you but I came to give God glory. I came to tell my God thank you because he has been good to me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So all praises be. Hallelujah. To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For he is wonderful. My God, in the name of Jesus. He is absolutely, positively wonderful. My God, and sometimes we, we get into the habit of going to church out of, out of the habit of going to church. And when we, do, when we come to church, we don't take time to connect with God. Hallelujah. But each and every time we come into the house of God, it should be a moment for us to reflect and connect. Hallelujah. God, I need, I need to be emotionally connected to you. I need to be spiritually connected to you. God, my heart needs to feel your heart and I need your heart to be with me because I need to walk with you and talk with you. I need to connect with God. Hallelujah. 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 I ain't scared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you were looking for your bishop this morning, hallelujah, but I ain't scared because the word is still the word. And the Holy Ghost is still the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And he's still going to do what he's going to do. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So give an honor to God who's the head of our lives. And certainly it goes without saying that it is an honor to stand in and fill in for our pastor on today. Amen. Um, truth be told, he called me on the phone and he said um, I, I should be there by 11 a.m. Amen pastor <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah but then he said um, I think I'm gonna be running late so y'all go ahead with the program hallelujah so y'all pray for me <laughs> hallelujah because I was looking for the pastor just like you hallelujah but bigger than that I'm looking for God hallelujah Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And I can tell you one thing. He haven't failed me yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Been through some ups and downs, but he ain't failed me yet. I had some hard times and some tribulations, but he haven't failed me. Sometimes I didn't know how I was going to get through, but he haven't failed me yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm leaning. Hallelujah. I'm leaning on his everlasting. Now he laughing at me. Hallelujah. I'm leaning on him today. Hallelujah. 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 So certainly we thank God. We honor and esteem all of our leaders who are here today. Today, me and Minister Green had the tag team. We both got some of our assignments this morning. Hallelujah. So we stepped up to do. So we thank God for all the people that came and folks who showed up. We knew the crowd was going to be light today because it is Congress. And they've been having church all week long, so we thank God for that. But we will not neglect the servant of God in this temple alone this morning. Amen. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. So I do not anticipate being before you very long this morning. Today is communion. So we will have a, a we are going to our message today. And then we will have communion and we're going to leave out rejoicing. Amen. 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 Would y'all pray for me this morning? Amen. 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 Turn with me to the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus. The book of Exodus. It's a place where God brought his people out. Hallelujah. Book of Exodus. Chapter number four. Hallelujah. We're going to look at Exodus chapter 4, beginning at verse number 10. We're going to look at 10 through 12. Hallelujah. When you have it, stand to your feet. Verse 10 reads, and Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, <clears throat> neither here to fore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shall say. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word, sanctified in our hearts thereof. One to use for a subject this morning, he keeps on keeping me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anybody got that testimony? He keeps on keeping me. Let's go in for a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this moment and this hour, God. And in this moment, God... I stand before you empty. We have no script. We have nothing rehearsed. We lean on your spirit, lead you to lead us and guide us and direct our path, oh God. Pray, God, that you would say something to somebody who needs to hear it in this hour. Give them a word that they can take home with them that will bless their hearts, their minds, and their soul, God. Today, God, I'm, I'm nothing, so I need you to be my everything. I lean on you, God. I ask you to have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. He keeps on keeping me. One of the best things that we have with God is our testimony. Hallelujah. How God brings us through the stuff that he brings us through. 
It is our testimony, hallelujah, that allows us to connect with the word of God to see what he's doing and what he has done in our lives. That God is a keeper. And sometimes you don't know that God is a keeper until you have been kept. Sometimes you don't know that God is a healer until you've been really sick and God had to heal your body. Sometimes you don't know that God is a way maker until you were stuck in a hard place and God made a way out of no way. Hallelujah. It's not until sometimes that we have test, we have the word and the cliches and we understand all of that. But God sometimes has to allow us to go through some things. Hallelujah. So he can connect to us from the inside out. Hallelujah. And the testimony is inside of your heart that he keeps on keeping me. I got a testimony that I have very rarely shared because when I was younger, I thought it was embarrassing. My God, I don't know if I've ever shared it in a pulpit setting, my God. But when I was younger and first got saved, I was living in Detroit, a young fella. The Lord first filled me with the gift of the Holy Spirit, evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. And if you know anything about our church in Detroit, it was a fire baptized church. Hallelujah, 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 which means if you got the Holy Ghost, you wasn't right until the fire came. Hallelujah, which means you had joy in your hands and joy in your feet. Hallelujah, and the joy bubbled up inside of you where we wasn't afraid to praise God verbally and out loud. We would praise God with hand clapping and, and foot stumping. We would praise God with the dance. Hallelujah, whether the music was playing the music. If we heard and connected with the word of God, there was a praise that would break out from the inside out. Hallelujah. And I learned that sometimes when you're going through some stuff, you got to praise your way through it. Hallelujah. Because the devil will come and try to discourage your heart and discourage your mind and discourage your position. And sometimes when you have nothing else, you got to get your praise on and praise your way through whatever it is you're going through. God, I thank you. It don't look good right now, but I thank you for victory. God, it don't feel good right now, but I thank you for victory. God, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this, but I thank you because you never failed me yet you got to praise your way through some stuff sometimes yes. hallelujah the church has sometimes become dry and lukewarm and and we used to measure that because if we lose our praise if we lose our joy hallelujah you will be disconnected from God hallelujah because the scripture says that the joy of the Lord is our strength hallelujah so sometimes when you need strength you got to tap into the joy of the Lord and you got to press in as hard as the devil is coming at you you got to press in equally as hard as, as hard as trials is trying to come your way you got to press in as equally as hard because you got to meet that energy with the same energy until the joy of the Lord springs up inside of you and you can say to the devil you can say to your enemies you can say to your foes you can say to your trouble you can say to your sickness you can say to your hard time the Lord is with me and I will not give up Sometimes that comes with experience. Yes. Hallelujah. Experience of the testimony. My God, I learned something about God. Young and saved and Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized and excited about Jesus and wanted to tell everybody. Hallelujah. Lord saved us. And it was in the middle of winter. And I don't know if you've ever been to Detroit or Michigan or up north, but when I was a kid, it used to have some serious snowstorms. They would snow you in. My God, and one day I went over to some friend's house one late Saturday afternoon or Friday afternoon and hang out with some of my old friends. And, and when I got around them, it was getting late and we was doing what we do as young people, having fun. And, but these was unsaved friends, and, and I couldn't wait for the opportunity to tell them about my Jesus. Hallelujah. I couldn't wait to tell them how the Lord had delivered my soul and the freedom that I felt on the inside. I couldn't wait to tell them about the expression of the Holy Spirit and how they needed to be saved and, and set free and delivered by the power of God. Hallelujah. And what happened was... 
As I started sharing my story, I would never forget it. It, it was somewhere around 9 o'clock at nighttime, 9.30-ish. And, and I began to share my story after we was hanging out. And, and as long as we weren't talking about Jesus, everything was okay. Hallelujah. As long as we were doing everything that they wanted to do, everything was all right. They had no problems. Hallelujah. And then we began to share the story about Jesus. Hallelujah. And as I begin to see as a young fella, as I begin to see God start moving in the room and, and start trying to prick people's heart, the enemy rose up. Hallelujah. Got to know that this fight is a real fight. Hallelujah. And the devil will do everything he can to suppress you, to depress you, to hold you down, to discourage you, and to tear up your faith so you can walk away from God. And you got to know that it's a trick of the enemy when you're being attacked. You got to know God got something better for me. Hallelujah. You got to know that, that we still have an enemy and that enemy is still trying to tear down his people. God's people. Try to tear you down. Keep you discouraged. The thing about the devil is, he don't care who he uses. He will use whoever he can use to discourage you. He will use whoever he can use to try to tear you down. My God started telling him about the, the love of Jesus. The power of God. And these young folks that I was around... Never told this story before. Young folks, I was around because, you know, Detroit got some gangsters, so you got to be careful what you're saying. Tell these young folks about the, the power of God, and they did something to me that I wasn't expecting. They did me so wrong. I was telling them about Jesus, and one of the guys who was bigger than me said, you got to go. When God was ministering to somebody and I was honing in on who the Lord was speaking to and I, I began to focus my energy there and, and one guy stood up and said, you got to go. He said, you got to get out of here. My God, and, and, and I thought he was just messing with me because they'd never done this before, never treated me like this. He said, you got to get out of here. And I said, man, you got to get out of here. And I kept on talking about Jesus and they got up and began to force me out the door. And the more I talked about Jesus, the angrier the enemy became. Because I had to know that it wasn't him that was angry. It was the devil that was in him that was angry. For the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So sometimes when people are coming against you, you got to know that it's not just that person. Hallelujah. But sometimes when people are coming against you, you got to know that devil inside of them has launched an attack against you. Hallelujah. So when I saw what was going on, hallelujah, I couldn't be mad at him, though I wanted to be mad at him. Hallelujah. But I knew the enemy was working in him, which means I knew that God was working in me. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That the enemy doesn't pop up unless God is doing something in you. The enemy won't show up if you're doing what he tells you to do. But the moment you start trying to walk for God, here comes, here comes, here comes the enemy. Hallelujah. Brother came in and told me, said, you got to go. And I kept on talking. And they was forcing me out the door. The young man got so angry with me that it's wintertime in Detroit. I grabbed my coat because they're trying to pull me out the door. He yanks my coat from me and pushes me outside the door and closes the door behind me. Click. And he locks the door. And then he screams out, let your Jesus save you now. Nobody but the devil. Let your Jesus save you now. Hallelujah. Now here I am in the middle of the winter time with no winter coat on and the snow is falling from the sky. It's freezing cold 
I have no coat. I wanted to turn around and knock on the door and say, let me in. But something inside of me said, no. Do not go back to the devil and ask the devil for nothing. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Sometimes when they put you in a situation, the devil will wait for you to come back to him and do it his way. But we refuse to do it the devil's way. We're going to do it God's way. Even if I got to go through something, I'm going to do it God's way. Even if they reject me, talk about me, lie on me, point the finger, I got to do it God's way. Hallelujah. Because what I found out is no matter what you go through, he keeps on keeping me. Hallelujah. He keeps on making ways for me. He keeps on opening the doors for me. He keeps on, no matter what it is, no matter where it's at, no matter how it happened, he keeps on just making ways out of no way. He keeps on. Hallelujah. God, I got outside the door and I was in my neighborhood, so I knew the neighborhood. So I went, ran down the street, started knocking on doors, other doors. Nobody answered the door. Nobody answered the door. Nobody went all the way to the end of the block. I'm getting cold now. It's wet. My feet are wet. It's snowing on me. I'm getting wet and cold, knocking on the door. Nobody is answering the door. Hallelujah. Now, when I tell you that I should have been dead, sleeping in my grave, hallelujah, I should have been dead, sleeping in my grave, because I got so cold and I had nowhere else to go that I found an abandoned car on the streets of Detroit. It was cold and I climbed in the back seat of the car and I closed the door. Didn't have nowhere else to go. Nobody was answering the door. Hallelujah. Slept in the back of the car. The clothes laid down in the back seat and I closed my eyes. Hallelujah. And I laid on the back seat. And as I was laying on the back seat, I saw the snow falling on the back glass of the window. This is what happened. The Lord caused what I call the igloo effect around that car. The snow started falling so hard that it covered the entire car with snow. I fell asleep in the back seat, and when I woke up a few hours later, the car was hot on the inside. Now, we're in the middle of a snowstorm. My God, I fell asleep cold and wet, and when I woke up, I was hot on the inside of the car. Let me tell you how hot I was. I was so hot that I took off my boots and I put it down there. I was so warm that I took off my socks and I hung them on the back seat of the car because I was so hot. Then I had a sweater on. I took off my sweater, rolled up the sweater, and put it on behind my head. And what I came to tell you is, when I tell you that God keeps on making ways, when God keeps opening doors, sometimes you gotta suffer what you gotta suffer, but if you don't bow down to the devil, God will always make a way. Hallelujah. Always make a way. Keeps on keeping me. Keeps on opening doors. Hallelujah. You don't have to bow down to the devil. Josh, you don't have to listen to what the devil say. You can do it God's way and he'll always make a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Slept in that car. Igloo effect. I remember it, it got so hot I started taking off my clothes and, and my God woke up the next morning and it was colder the next morning and when I woke up my socks was dry, my sweater was dry, hallelujah, and I was still alive through the snowstorm. Now they should have found me the next day dead or they supposed to have found me when the snow cleared dead in a vacant car and I was supposed to be in a newspaper like so many people before me who died outside of asphyxia or free freeze burn but the Lord made a way for me and opened up a door and he kept keeping me. He keeps on keeping me. Testimony becomes important to who you are in God because when he gives you testimony even when you fall away even when you don't believe even when you you start you got a testimony to look back to and say look where he brought me from 
Hallelujah. And I love God because I know the old church used to have all these cliches that, 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 that we, we got away from. But he, he, he looked beyond my faults and he saw my needs. Hallelujah. He brought me from a mighty, 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 mighty long way. Hallelujah. He keeps on opening doors and making ways for me. Hallelujah. He keeps on keeping me. Look at the story of Moses. And I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. Look at the story of Moses. And Moses had a relationship with God before he even knew he had a relationship with God. Hallelujah. When Moses was a kid, the king was acting crazy and declared that he was going to kill all the male children. And he was going to kill all the male tr children because he knew God was up to something. Hallelujah. And I want to reiterate this point that you got to know that when God is up to something, the enemy will always try to attack you. Ah, he will always try to discourage you when God knows, uh, when the devil knows that God is up to something in your life. Hallelujah. Because he wants to give you a testimony for you to share with somebody because we are supposed to be winning souls for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Moses was, 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 was a, a baby and, and Pharaoh put out this decree. Cree said, kill every firstborn child. Hallelujah. But his relationship with his mother and, 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 and with God and, and, and she put him in, this, in this, little, this little boat thing. I don't know what to call it. The little boat thing. And he said, um, and she puts him off and she sell, puts him out to sail. And what happens is in the middle of folks dying, in the middle of people being tore down, God saves Moses and prepares him for work to be done. Let me tell you something. There's some young people in here, young men and young women that's in your family that's going through some crazy stuff. They're doing stuff, but God can still bring them and still use them. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't know how God is going to do it. We don't know what God is going to do. We don't know where God is going to do it. And sometimes our kids and our family become so wayward that we have no idea how God is going to do what he's going to do. But God always has a way to make things happen. Hallelujah. I have discovered in my life that God has a way of reaching you and reaching people when nobody else can reach you. Hallelujah. I might talk till I'm blue in the face. Hallelujah. But God can talk to my son in the middle of the night walk up in his bedroom and speak to him while he sleep and God can reach somebody where you can't reach them. This is why prayer becomes important. Somebody say pray. pray. Hallelujah. Prayer becomes important because prayer is the thing that connects us with God. Hallelujah. And we have to be connected with God and the reason the enemy begins to attack your faith is to make you doubt because if you doubt God you can't believe God and if you can't believe God you cannot pray in faith. Hallelujah. So he sends an attack against you. Hallelujah. To keep you doubtful. You don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in your prayers. You don't believe God is using you. You don't believe God has called you and you struggle with inside of yourself and when we look at the scripture text this is what Moses is going through God had called Moses and said Moses I want you to go talk to Pharaoh but Moses said wait a minute I got a problem with inside of myself and inside of myself I don't talk too good he said Lord don't you know I'm slow I'm slow I'm, I'm slow God I'm slow the speech I can't talk too good I, I'm not the one that you want to use for this but God looked at Moses and said, who made man's tongue? You got to understand. I know what you're going through. Hallelujah. I know your struggles. I know your pains. I know your weaknesses. I know your ups and I know your downs. Hallelujah. But let me ask you a question. Who made man's tongue? Hallelujah. I did this for you. I called you out. I chose you. I am the one who put my spirit on you. Hallelujah. He tells Moses, who made man's tongue? Hallelujah. Sound like God got an attitude. Hallelujah. But what I found out is that when God loves you, he loves you. And when he loves you, he loves you unconditionally. Hallelujah. Sometimes he'll deal with your shortcomings and, and deal with your grace and give you grace for, for this and give you grace for that just to bring you to the place where he wants you to be. Yet he will give you grace. Hallelujah enemy will try to discourage you hallelujah and that's his job hallelujah scriptures gives us a clear definition of who he is and what he does bible is clear about this 
said he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he comes to do. Hallelujah. And our counteraction, hallelujah, is to have faith in God and to believe God in his word and to do what God has told us to do no matter what the enemy is. The devil is going to do what he's going to do. Hallelujah. We got to do what God has called us to do. Hallelujah. And somebody in this place, faith has been under attack. Hallelujah. And when he attacks your faith, he makes you feel disconnected. Hallelujah. I felt that before. Hallelujah. I felt an attack that came in my life where I felt disconnected. I felt disconnected emotionally to my church. Felt like I don't fit in here. I felt disconnected to God. Like, did you really call me? I felt disconnected to my family. Like, do you love me the same way I love you? Sometimes when you're going through stuff, hallelujah, you still got to praise your way through and maintain that plumb line. That no matter what comes, hell or high water, I will maintain where God has placed me and I'm going to do what God has called me to do. Because after a while, the Lord is going to bring you through. After a while, the God is going to make a way for you. Hallelujah. And when he makes a way for you, hallelujah, he gives you a testimony that he keeps on keeping me. He keeps on making a way for me. He keeps on opening doors for me. Hallelujah. So now when I look back over my life and I go through some of the stuff that I'm going through, I can look back at my testimony and say, if he brought me through this and he brought me through that and he brought me through the other, hallelujah, surely hallelujah without a shadow of a doubt surely if he brought me through all this other stuff god can carry me through this thing right there he keeps on keeping me hallelujah i'm done y'all pray my strength in the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. he keeps on keeping me and what we see in the story of Moses, I told you I was going to be short. What we see in the story of Moses is that even before Moses knew who God was, God was looking out for him. Before Moses can even recognize the power and the person of who God was, God kept on making ways for him. That he said, I can look back over my life hallelujah and even before i gave myself to god at the burning bush i can see where god made ways for me i can see where god opened doors for me i can see what god has done in my life hallelujah and maybe there's somebody here today who have not been baptized in the name of lord jesus christ have not given yourself to god but you say you know what i haven't given myself to god but i can see all through my life how God has been good to me. I can see all through my life how he got me out of this and he got me through this and he was with me here and he was with me there all through my life. And I know there comes a time where I got to meet God at the burning bush. Maybe this is your burning bush day. Hallelujah. Is there anybody who have not gone down in Jesus name? I'm in bit baptized. In the name, Lord Jesus Christ. And you want to be baptized today? As we used to say, the, the doors of the church are open. Hallelujah. Give you an opportunity to come if there's anybody. Hallelujah. Doors of the church are open. In the darkness. Hallelujah. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here for prayer? Want us to touch and agree with you? Hallelujah. God bring you through some stuff. God make a way for you. Hallelujah. 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 You're turning lives around. I worship.
Hallelujah. I worship you. As we go off the air, you are here. Thank you for tuning in today and enjoying us, joining us for our, our broadcast today. We love you and ask you to be back next Sunday. Meet us Wednesday night for our broadcast. Hallelujah. As they come. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see you on Wednesday night. Hallelujah. How many people know God is able? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, welcome back. I saw you on television. Everybody.